Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Professional Farmer 2014. Uh, probably just a little short episode here. We're going to try out... Oh, that's fast. We're going to try out uh, some different audio settings here. So, see if I can figure out what's going wrong with this... Uh, Bandicam uh, is recording, or if it's my editing software or YouTube, not sure what it is. I'll try to figure that out from this uh, video here. So, let's see, what do we have going on? I'm not even sure. I'll have to go look, I guess. Oop. Yeah, that's stuck. I believe our field over here is ready to harvest. Actually, no, we had our uh, hired workers do that. That's right. Okay. Never mind. I'll just uh, park this up over here then. Actually, I think we're uh, done for this season then, because we got that uh, harvested. Oh, that's interesting. They uh, left the straw for us. Unfortunately, I don't have a tractor or anything to pick it up with, so it's, uh... I got the baler, but I don't have the wagon or the tractor to pick it up, so we can't do much with it, unfortunately. So I guess we'll, uh, skip ahead here. Let's M. Uh, mechanics. Next round. And I guess we'll just skip right ahead to uh, next year. I still cannot read that fast enough. I'd seen something about the bank requires me uh, ten and uh, ten fifty, and then the cows looked like it was two forty. Let's see what season are we in here? I should probably uh, late autumn. So next one should be spring. Yes, early spring. Okay, and uh, we'll get uh, working on those fields, I guess. And I'll hire a worker to do the big one, and we'll go ahead and do one of these small ones here. Let's see, under workers, we want to plow. And then we want to cultivate. And then we want to seed it with something. Oh, what do we want to seed it with? Can't do corn. Let's see, I'm thinking one of these. And the only trouble is I'm not sure what uh, harvester we have to have for this. So, let's do a peas. Okay, we now have peas uh, planted on that field. And according to uh, Steam's uh, community, they got a post there about a new add-on that's coming out for Pro Farmer this spring. I'm not sure when that'll be, but they make it sound like it'll be out pretty shortly. So, be a new uh, American map. They've uh, redone the uh, plant growth system. I'm not sure if that's for this, that map or just all the maps, which I guess would just be this one and that one. Let's see here. We want to rotate. The, well, yeah, rotate the ball. And then they got a new animal breeding mode, which I'm assuming means there'll probably be more animals. Let's see. What does it say? Uh, milk, eggs, and then yeah, all the machines and stuff that'll go along with that. So mowers, 
tetters, rakes, bale wrappers. So they'll definitely be getting into that. Let's see here. And lower. Trying to read this and uh, work the plow at the same time. Not working so good. Let's see. Let's get our speed right. I believe that was 5A. And then we can use one, once we get going, to uh, hold that speed there. And that is, let me tell you folks, a very nice <coughs> update. As for this uh, add-on as well, it's supposedly going to come with uh, root vegetables, so sugar beets and potatoes. Wonder where they got that from. I mean, I don't know of another game that has you know sugar beets and potatoes. So, and then obviously, of course, all the harvesters and equipment that goes along with that. And then they're going to be doing a redo of the uh, machines for recalculating the power on the wheels, I guess. So supposed to be uh, more realistic. And then they're also going to have a uh, more live, uh, live environment. You'll be able to see uh, workers actually working out in the field. So that'll be a nice uh, addition. That's about it. It just says it's going to be coming out this spring, so... For uh, Professional Farmer 2014 Deluxe, I'm not sure if that's uh, going to be an add-on, a new game, uh, DLC, free DLC, pay DLC, I have no idea. So, I will definitely be uh, checking out that out when it comes out. I'm assuming it'll be a DLC that we can add on to our current game, I'm assuming, but well, yeah, we'll, like I said, we'll find out. Probably uh, just finish plowing this field here, call it an episode. Like I said, make a little short one here so if I can uh, play around with the audio, see if I can figure out what's going wrong. If it's my end, YouTube's end, Bandicam's end, we'll find out. So. Also, I noticed when I uh, started the game there's another new update. Not sure what uh, changed. I didn't see any uh, release notes for that one, so. Definitely getting a little crooked on my uh, plow in here. Oops. Oh well. Need the uh, GPS mod in this game too, it looks like. Although, speaking of the GPS mod, I was uh, playing around with that here the other day um, after I finished recording a uh, farm sim episode and uh, crashed my game, so it's like, uh, uh, that's not good. Not sure if it was a um, conflict with a tractor and the GPS mod because I was using the uh, the John Deere tractor, the real fancy one I have. And yeah, all like boom, Giant's engine has stopped working. Well, that sucked. So yeah, needless to say, I lost a bunch of work there. I did uh, save the or I did save the game after I finished recording the episode, so I didn't lose, you know, what I did 
during the episode. That was a good thing, at least. But yeah, everything I did after the episode I lost, which is probably another half hour, 45 minutes worth of uh, fiddling and playing around. Okay, is that going to be good enough, or am I going to have to go fix up some of these spots here? Plowing 100%. Okay, we're going to call that good. That sounds like that's something that'll change, too, this 100% thing. It's going to go more of the way farming sim does it, it sounds like. So right now, you know, like if now if I miss a spot, it's going to be missed. Whereas in farming sim, you know, if you miss a spot, it's, yeah. But with this, if you miss a spot... Just go away from the field, come back, and it uh, reloads everything, basically, and I uh, never even know it. So, okay, we'll uh, call it an episode here. I know it's a little bit short, mainly just trying to see if I can figure out what's going on with the audio. So, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.